Welcome to another installment of LebanonSportsBuzz.com presents. Today we're with Dan Black. Dan's a senior right-hander for the Cedar Crest baseball team. And uh, Dan was the winning pitcher today uh, in a 9-2 victory over Elizabethtown. Uh, Dan, how, how'd you feel out there today? Uh, I thought I, I felt well towards the end. Uh, I got off to a slow start. Uh, I think it's issues with confidence, but uh, I think I finally figured it out and uh, we're ready to go for the, the next part of the year. Hey, Dad, just just overall, how how have you thrown this year? I mean, how, how did this 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 out in compare to like just just how you've thrown all year? Uh, it, it's better towards the end. I'm not I'm not happy with the way I've been throwing, um, but I mean my expectations for myself are pretty high. So I'm excited to get the second half of the year started and playoffs and uh, do well as a team. Hey, coach, took you out after five. Were you, were you just on a pitch count, or how, how'd you feel there at the end? Uh, well, with the rain, the games have been backed up. Uh, I think it was at like 83 pitches, so I felt fine, but. Um, he felt like he wanted to get Patrick um, some work and, and save me for the, for the rest of the week if, if necessary. Uh, do, do you expect to come back like later in the week? I hope so. I mean, I always want to pitch, so and anything I can do to help help the team win. Hey, Dad, just just tell me a little about your key out there. What what do you need to do to be to be successful out there? Uh, I, I need to get ahead and pitch ahead in the counts because the stuff I have it's tough for most hitters uh, to catch up and then I throw my off speed. As long as I throw ahead or throw strikes and get ahead, I'll, I'll be fine. So. Yeah, do, you, do you know anything about like E-Town coming in, or is it just kind of the thing you, you just kind of throw your game out there? I mean, it depends. Usually Coach Groff knows what he's doing, and he'll call the game, so uh, I just throw what he puts down, and, and usually we're on the same page, so it works out well. And Dan, you guys got a lot of runs today. Uh, uh, you staked into a little bit of a lead. and, and how, Tell me, how, how, how different is it to work with, with, say, a couple-run lead as opposed to you know being in a tight ball game? I mean, it's always fun to pitch in tight ball games because the momentum for everybody is always there. But when we get ahead, um, the other team's always down, and we can just keep going. Um, and it's a lot easier to pitch when you're ahead. Hey, Dan, talk, just talk a little bit about, about this team and the season you guys are having. Uh, you know, I know you guys have some goals out there, but just, just how are things going for you guys this year? Uh, I mean, we started out really well, and in the past week, we struggled a little bit. We dropped two games in a row, but uh, after today, I think we're ready to bounce back. And uh, we have a few more games here in Section 2, and then Section 1 starts, and we're ready to go then. And we're excited about the playoffs and, and all that stuff. And I think as seniors, we've all been there for the past three years, and that's what we're ready to do again. So. You know, did that give you a little bit more motive, more motivation today, knowing you know you guys had lost two in a row? I mean, put a little little bit more on the on the start today. Um, I mean, as a team, I think we're all ready to get out and play. As it rained out yesterday, we all wanted to play. We all just want to get back out and win because uh, nobody likes losing, and this win felt good. And I think we're ready uh, for the week ahead. Hey Dan, one of the things I talked to Coach about was just kind of enjoying the enjoying the journey, and, and you guys are having a good season, and you know, I know you're kind of fighting for a section championship, trying to trying to get in the playoffs, that kind of thing. But do, do, do you get the feeling that everybody on the team knows you're, you're you're having a good year, and you're kind of enjoying things as you go along? I think so, for the most part. I mean, a lot of the guys have high expectations for themselves, and you can see that when when guys get out and get frustrated. Uh, but the biggest thing is just moving on and, and playing defense again. We all want to win, we all want to do well, um, but it gets frustrating sometimes uh, when we fail, and that's, it, ha it happens, and that's baseball, so. Hey, tell me, uh, you're, on, you're on your way to, to Virginia Commonwealth, um, uh, just, just how did that, that whole recruiting process go for you, and is, is it nice to kind of have that out of the way, uh, yeah, senior season? Recruiting's fun, I mean, you get to visit schools and, and see and meet new people. I think when I went down there, it just felt, it felt like it was the right place for me. Uh, meeting the coaches, seeing the field, and doing all that. So I was excited when I signed, and, and that's out of the way, and you can just then relax and, and play your senior year. All right. Hey, Dan, listen, thank you. I, I appreciate your time. Right, uh, is there lot. anything else that we hit on We hit on the high points? Yeah. All right. Hey, good job. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, good game today, and just, just good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thanks.